Being a vocational school district, it's important that students in each of the Hudson County Schools of Technology Academies have an opportunity to see what fellow students are learning in other disciplines. That's what made Thursday's DFAB CTE Showcase so special. Our, um, academy is called the Design and Fabrication Academy here at High Tech High School. Um, we are showcasing projects, student projects from the various majors that we offer at the, at the DFAB Academy. And that includes wood technology, um, architecture, industrial design and animation, as well as computer programming and computer science. And we're also um, here with our robotics team, so they're showing off the, ro the robot that they, um, that they use for the season, that they built in and, and used for this, this robotics season. The robot, dubbed Bertha, was created to participate in a robotics challenge, which changes from year to year. So this year, the challenge was to put freight onto this shipping hub. And so we designed a robot that was that could pick up freight as efficiently as possible and then stack it as efficiently as possible. Another discipline on display was architecture, where students can create city grid models from scratch. Um, architecture is a very specific major, especially if you want to do that in college. So the fact that you have the ability to look into it now um, is really important. And we also are able to prepare ourselves for college, create portfolios. And it doesn't have to only be architectural based. Um, it's also like uh, design and painting based, right? So we have like different painting sketches, um, all of those things. So it gives you a lot of different exposure in different um, media outlets. Too. The industrial design discipline allowed students to create a model car and see how fast it could be launched down a long track. A car automotive, and the point of this is there's like kids from different grade levels get to design cars such as this one. This person, technically as you can see, they painted it, designed it from the side, made it look really nice. And the point of it is to, technically, is to test since you can make the fastest car. But we had a downfall because we couldn't get two connectors. So we just launched one to see how fast each one goes. During testing, the highest speed reached was 40 miles per hour. So as you can see, the hands-on experience these students are receiving is invaluable. Right, so you have architects that have to collaborate with engineers and, and with computer programmers and, and there's, there's tons of overlap. They're, they're really not separate industries. They're required to work in tandem. So. You know, we like to hold events like this so students can see the, the common overlaps between the various courses of study that they're involved in so that um, they can be open to those um, those opportunities once they graduate and they're are out in the workforce. School district, it's important for us to host events like this so students who enroll in other academies based on their programs of study can see what is offered throughout the district. The Design and Fabrication Academy has a total of 180 freshmen and sophomores, and when they become upperclassmen, there's about 20 students per discipline. At High Tech High School in Secaucus, Jeff Hennig, Hudson TV.